you guys have cleared Dragon's Burrow and you now have the Dragon Slayer sword. You come out and you greet your centaur friend, Xanath, who is waiting for you by the old fire that you guys have where you camped out at. So you have succeeded. Hi, that way. And Sylvan, he greets you back. <clears throat> yes, we have succeeded. Um, but not without scars. I imagine I'm still all bashed up. I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. You guys are a little beat up, but we'll say you get healed before we get to our next encounter, so mm -hmm. let's not worry about that. But I still am like, oh, that was tough. That was tough. Thank you for coming to my aid. We seem to have found a special sword. And I got a magic loot. We should keep quiet. No loot playing. <laughs> What's going on? Well, you agreed to join me to the um, the woodland maze, man's where I saw the uh, orcs gathering. Yes. Foul magic there. Mm. Well, I'm going to lead the way. Yes, lead the way. I shall mend. Uh, tend to my wounds as we travel. I've stayed with your horses. They are prepared. That's very kind of you. I took extra care of yours. <laughs> Thank you. That's so sweet of you. And I slowly un un undo like the the bridle, <laughs> and I go, uh, oh! <laughs> I slap her on the butt, and she runs off. Oh my! <laughs> It's it's run away. She'll go home. Where the wild fern goes. <laughs> and I take my sack and I <laughs> he like pours out onto the ground. <laughs> Treacherous looking. What a steed. He told me his name is Chippe. Unearthly. He is undead. But he has bonded to me. And I find it somewhat it reminds me of my youth when, when I was in my goth stage so I'm going to ride it from here on out <laughs> well if you don't need to rest we can it's going to be about a day's journey to the woodland men, mensa I'm fine are you all fine I do you so. need to take a nap oh what because I'm old I'm fine. I wasn't going to say it. I may not be a spring chicken, but I'm still rather spry. Did you eat your prunes? Take your pill? I don't like prunes. They get stuck in my teeth. <laughs> We're ready. Centaur, lead the way. And I will mount Chappé. You guys have horses. Noise. Do you have names for your horses, too? My horse's name is Horse. It told me. I would have I speak to creatures. Plus, I'm like mind binded with this one. I know what's going to do about mind binding. Glory. <laughs> glory, I like it. Glory. There you go. Glory. Does, and uh, Sejan Kwan's with you. Does that, can I name a horse? Of course. I will <sighs> name you Mulan. <laughs> we are in no way affiliated with Disney or Disney Plus. <laughs> it is an old name of my people. <laughs> Legend of a great fighter. Hmm. He, she, and her husband. Uh, well, no, that is Pocahontas. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys head off on your way. We shall. And as you're making your way through on the trek. Uh, Xanath will tell you. This woodland manza is a, it's like a mana, you would say it in your, your language. It's a, an old half-elf wizard. Um, she built it uh, in Neverwinter Wood. Um, she was investigating ruins, so she built it close to these ruins that pipped her interest. But in the course of her explorations, she one day just disappeared and the protective magics that kept the house safe dissipated. The house turned, fell into disrepair and 
covered in ivy and whatnot. And then when I, my people went by it, we saw many, many orcs and painted orcs there and boars. Hmm. Painted orcs. That'll be the Talos. Yep. Follow us. We have heard of these orcs moving into these lands as of late. We have even encountered some. Mm-hmm. They are worshippers of Talos. Are you familiar with Talos, Centaur? He is not one of the gods we study. Enlighten me, please. He is the dark side of Mother Nature. Storms, the destruction of the natural world. That is not a good god. (laughs) Well, light cannot exist without dark, as they say. You can have your sunny days, but you will also have your stormy days. But it is bad when the storm overcomes the sunny days. And I fear that the followers of Talos probably want something like that to occur. Do they want the destruction of man or the forest? Or what do you think? If... Mother Nature's chaotic side is allowed to be prevalent at all times, Mm -hmm. then life as we know it would cease to exist. But I live in Mother Nature. Civilization is foreign to me. You do not take shelter during the lightning storm. We have huts. Can you imagine an infinite lightning storm? The bear does not take shelter while he has a cave, but that is nature. But if nature brings a flood, and the bear's cave is flooded, the bear dies. If the storm is constant, without any rest, without the other side of Mother Nature, the peaceful side, then one will overcome the other. I think I understand. Such as, uh, in the same way, if there is no rain, the plants won't grow, they will die. They must exist equally. And you think they want to bring about the destruction of the earth? That is the common belief. Or they want the destruction of man. For man has caused many, many calamities. You got that right. High five! I am no man. (laughs) It's hard to tell you elves, I don't know. The orcs themselves have also brought about these calamities. Oh, yes. An industrial folk they are. They care nothing for nature. They destroy. They chop down trees, build their... They kill with impunity. Kill with impunity. Burn things for the hell of it. You know, that sort of thing. You guys follow a trail through the woods. Come to a foggy clearing. In the midst of which stands a crumbling two-story man's all but hidden beneath thorny ivy. The large house is set atop a six-foot-high stone foundation, and the main entrance has a balcony above it. Pumpkins grow wild in patches around the mains, mm-hmm. with several boars feeding among them. The boars snort with contempt as you draw near. So pretend that that patch is all around the house. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't really matter which way you go, this is where we're going to be. This is all around the house. Yes, but you guys everywhere. are still in the woods. Now, the, the boars have taken notice of you. They're snorting at you in contempt, as it said. Oh, well, I'm going to, uh, I have my don this cloak that I'm wearing. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to um, stealthily move into the pumpkin patch. <gasps> and my cloak will turn orange. And I'm going to hide behind a pumpkin Sweet. and scout the area. Uh, stealth, give me a stealth roll with advantage. Okay. That guy looks just like a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, he just went everywhere. 25. Alright, so you can, you, yeah, you, um, you kind of crouch down and you, the color of the cape turns a bitter orange. And you kind of stealthy come through there. Um, Xanath looks at, um, Old Man Wilkins and Tordic. And Saint Jen, I won't go no further. 
Good luck with your travels. I will wait here. So okay. far, all I see is pigs you hear in your head. Yes. And they're boars, as you can see there. Yeah. Um, Sounds boring, I reply back. Spelled B-O-A-R, like it's a pun. Please stop hamming it up. Let's go about our business. Please. One of those boars you remember you came across on your trips. It was in the middle of the road. Right. And it ran away. And it looks f very familiar to that boar you saw. <sighs> Do you remember the strange boar that we saw on the road? You mean the one that went to market? A few weeks past. Yes, yes, that one, Tordek. Could you all please focus for one moment? Sorry, I'm not sure I remember. My memory's a little patchy. Like pumpkin patch. Are you Sorry, that one was a stretch. Are you, are you in her head too? Yes, I and well, that's up to my proficiency bonus, so I don't know, let me see if I can uh Cause she's ready to say snarky shit back at them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could have her too. Is this how you guys really communicate? I didn't know we were on this line. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. How do you ever accomplish anything? I don't know. <laughs> Patience. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess. Elven fortitude. Hmm. I prefer gorditude. Like a gourd <laughs> pumpkin. That was quite a stretch. <laughs> This mansion looks kind of seedy. <laughs> Pumpkins and thieves. Stop. But looking <sighs> uh, looking over the pumpkin patch, you can easily see, uh, Westar, that there's at least nine boars grazing. I count at least nine boars grazing here. Is there a way for me to inspect them closer, I wonder? Let me look and see if I have anything in my pack that might assist us. Do you think the uh, the big one is uh, intelligent? I'm not sure. I would have to get closer. Well, if you get closer, be careful not to get caught off gourd. Oh, I'm a pumpkin! <clears throat> What else is around in the house? Uh, it just the house is in the distance. You have to go through the punk patch to get the, to the house. Now, the house is full of orcs. Of According the, to the centaur, he has seen orcs in around the house. Do we see any signs of orcs? Uh, not outside, no. Any kind of, like... Hmm. Or you just see boars in the punk patch just eating, rummaging around. To... I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna move like a sniper along the ground, uh -huh. slowly, and like the cloak will change colors with me. I'm gonna try to obscure myself and uh, and use my my wood elf feature, where it's like I can light be just lightly obscured to disappear. I'm gonna try to use the grass and what have you to stay really low and and get closer to these boars to see if I can't perhaps he's the great see if. Uh, <laughs> I can make out that any of these boars might be intelligent or if they look like wild beasts. Tell me how you do this shit, because they are, I mean, they could smell and stuff. I mean, even though you're underneath the cloak, you still smell of the crypt you were just in. I'll go like this and try to stay downwind of them mm -hmm. so that my scent doesn't blow their way and I can make it another stealth check, check if you'd like. Yes. That's going to be a 15. All right, you're able to get with the wind, so the wind's <clears throat> blowing away from you. I just want to get you. close enough to where I can like, maybe look at that big one and see if I can study its behavior. Does it look like it's just completely a mindless creature? Just trying to make any kind of in, uh, uh, inspection that I can to, to, to notice anything about their behaviors. Um, it appears to be a normal boar to you. You don't have any 
you can't tell anything other than it, it it's like the boar you came across on the road. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just rather large compared to the other boars. Well, the boars just seem like normal animals to me. I can't make anything else out about them. We could try and scare them away or draw them away and move closer to the house. There's nine of them. I have an idea of how we can scare them away. We could be like my favorite band of bards and go smashing pumpkins. Sorry, that one was kind of an anachronism. (laughs) I hate you. (laughs) Truly, I do. Um, I didn't know how to retaliate. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I'm going to take my... uh... I'll tell you what. That big boar is gorgeous. I'm sorry. I'll stop. Yes. Please do. Um, or I could really determine if this is a magical creature by approaching it and asking, but I don't want to do it alone. I'll have to wait for you all. I think it's just a big boar. <clears throat> do we have any other p- ideas on how to s- to sneak into the house? or? You can go past the punk batch. I mean... No. You guys can all do stealth checks if you want to try to get past the boars. Should I go... You probably get an idea there's so much like a uh, watchdog kind of thing. You know, they're there. They could, yeah, if they're disturbed, that they will alert the people in the house. <clears throat> You've been able to circumvent that with your cape, so I wonder how, say, John, Old Man Wilkins, and Tordick will be able to get past them. I'll simply use my mind powers to block their vision so they don't see me. We could, uh, is, can we see the manor at all? Yeah, you would be able to see the structure of the manor. You see it's covered in ivy and whatnot. It's two stories, so there are windows upstairs, but the windows are covered with ivy, so you probably have to break your way in. Can we see if the door's open? Hmm. Uh, the door appears, yeah, it's open. It's uh, dilapidated, yes. You, the front door, where that carpet is, yeah. We don't see any open. orcish activity. We're no. The pigs. No, just the pigs. Because we could probably Hello. use that, uh, that wand... And make a bright, shiny flash of color that would scare all these piggies away. You could. But when you do that, the orcs will be alerted. That's fine. We could draw them out of the house. Burst of light is accompanied by a crackling noise that can be heard up to 300 feet away. There you go. The light is as bright as a torch flame. It lasts only a second. Hmm. As you guys are talking through your head, you notice the boar kind of just moves away a little bit from you. The boars are just, they're just eating pumpkins and stuff like that. Yeah, they're eating doing their pumpkins. thing. Yeah. They don't seem to be paying you guys any kind of attention. Right. All right. Um, I'll stay where I'm at and I will. Uh, I would like to. I'll be. I'm, I'm just going to go for it. Okay. Are we going to use the wand to make the crack? I wasn't noise? going to. I was just going to go up. Okay. I'll see how they interact with you then. They walk away from him. They scurry away. But they let him through. Hmm. Thanks, Piggy. You know, sometimes old man Wilkins does shit that blows my mind. <laughs> King of the pigs. <laughs> Pig shit. Well... <clears throat> Next. <laughs> I'm going to stay where I'm at and, uh, and, and and watch the windows and the doors. I'm going to go see if anybody's home. Are you going with them, Torta? Yeah, I'll go with them. <clears throat> so when you go up to the house, you notice on the second floor is a balcony. Um, this is represented by this sticker here. This is the upstairs, basically. So... Um, <clears throat> stone steps climb to a portico with a stone balcony overhanging it at a height of 10 feet. Vines wrapped around the balcony support pillars and its crumbling stone railing. The ground floor entrance features a double door with a giant boar's head crudely carved into it. Hmm. An unmarbled door stands open, I mean, stands closed on the balcony. 
Ooh. Old Man Wilkins is going to look up at the balcony ten feet up off the ground and he's going to go, I could probably jump that. <laughs> With the pigs gone, I'm going to... Um, I'm just keeping a distance because I want to be able to... As you if walk, we get, if we yeah. get ambushed, as I you walk sure away I'm, from them, you notice even. the pigs fall back to basically where they were. Hmm. I'm just kind of moving around, and I'm looking at the house at all times. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm trying to make sure that we don't get ambushed. Yeah, bamboozled. Sounds good. I'm doing scout stuff. <laughs> Why are we at this house again? We're gonna kill some orcs. Why are we out in this house again? That's what I asked through the we're going mind to, we're, we're assisting the Zan centaur. Zanith said that the painted orcs, the half orcs, have been dwelling here, and I believe the half orcs may be behind the orcs attacking. So we're just here for murder? Well, fuck yeah. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> it's not a stealth mission, right? Well, stealth is usually. Uh, beneficial, yes. At least when attacking. Hmm. Um, can I see where there's a window at? They're all covered in vines. But I would be able to climb up and, like, get into one if I could. You'd have away. to chop it. I got a dagger. They're and stuff. thick, thick vines. Oh, they're, like, really, really thick. I, it would take me forever. Yeah. You also notice there's the a pattern to the leaves open. that interest you. Right. Oh, can I inspect it and see what, yes. what, what, what is it that does that? Yes. What interests me about it? Uh, would you want just a straight investigation? Yeah, sure. Well, right. do the nature. Do a nature. Okay. Dang it. Dirty 20. It uh, looks poisonous. The vines do? Yes. Oh. Like that if you were to fiddle around with it, it's a fantasy form of poison ivy that would probably affect your character oh, no. in a negative way. Don't touch any of the vines. Why? It's a little like poison oak, but much more deadly. Oh, I've already got a rash you would not believe. I don't need another one. Right. Maybe you can take a look at it later. I'm going to step up behind you guys then. Good thing I didn't climb up to... The front door was just open. I Wait, I'm inside. Okay. All right, so you walked right in. Is there, like, signs of uh, movement inside? It looks like it's just been rampaged and destroyed. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's not been well kept. All the kids party here? Yeah. Quite a storm. Quite a storm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a storm. Yeah. Oh, it's a storm tonight. Um, you're in the uh, downstairs hall. Um, it's creakety and moldy. Over in the corner, you see an old wooden staircase. It looks very dilapidated. This corner? Yep, that's the staircase. Yeah. Okay. You guys, that's a wooden staircase. It's very <clears throat> deteriorated. Yeah. You I'm gonna go. There? I'm gonna go up underneath the stairs here and like and look and see if it looks like it's booby trapped. Um, do an investigation check. It's 5 plus 17, so that's 22. Um, it doesn't look booby trapped, but it does look like it's not very supportive. Um, any kind of weight over a certain amount would probably buckle it. You need to be very light-footed if you head up those stairs. What star I say in your Maybe mind. even his weight would be too much. And what, he's like, what, 95 pounds of bone? To I'm just bones. I should be able to walk up the stairs. I highly doubt that. This is. You very, would ascertain it's probably at best fifty pounds. This is. These are. They're basically mushrooms at this point. Hmm. Hmm. How am I supposed to get upstairs? On both sides <coughs> of you, on the left and right, are doors. Uh, one just happens to be laying on the ground, like maybe they have pushed that one down. Is this door? Is this a door yeah, that's, that's a doorway open? Yeah. Yeah, it's open. Yeah. Can I see inside? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you look inside there, and you can tell that's kind of a library of sorts. Um, the library here. I don't need no fancy books. Uh, just peeking inside there, you don't see anybody in there. Uh, but uh, 
you can tell most of the cabinets have been ransacked and stuff like that. Hmm. You looking in the other way, um, that's a parlor. Um, it's been smashed to pieces. There's broken furniture everywhere, chairs, side tables, wine cabinet. Uh, there's moldy rugs on the floor. But it's uh, basically just a little um, waiting area for people. Yeah. Um, we're going to imagine there's a wall here, okay? So this would be the one way here. And here, there's nothing. So this is blocked off. Is, it, is this an ICZ or BZ or? Yep, that's stairs, yeah. There's yeah. stairs. Do they go up or down? Yeah, they go up. Mm -hmm. There's a stairwell here, too. Well, this part of doesn't lead anywhere. It's just a hallway. That one leads all the way down here to you see it like a doorway. Wait, this, this does is, lead down here? And you're only because you can only see because, yeah, you can only see okay. because of your goggles. It's all dark in here, okay? Because you can see dim. So you see about, what, is it 30 to 60 feet dim light? I think so. Okay. So you know there's a hallway here. I'm just saying, don't imagine there's nothing there, okay? Okay. So you've definitely got a hallway in yours and you have a stairs in yours. Okay. So you so guys this can is decide which one. A hallway, and this is here because. Um, if you get closer, I can explain. Okay, because I thought you were saying that this was the wall, and it's no. Like, this okay, is gotcha. everything up to here is a wall. Okay. So there's not a hallway here. No. There's stairs for you. Okay. So you guys decide what you want to do. Well, let's all join together and go one way. My way. All right, Tordek. He's moving. Okay. <laughs> Later. So what you can see, Trenton, is that there's a hole in the yeah, roof. Go back and look at it. That's the roof, okay? So that's where I matched it up with this one. Okay. Um, the night the ceilings are 15 feet high, so it's just kind of a broken, dilapidated floorboards and everything. Mm. So if you were able to get 15, you could climb up there if you'd like. Mm -hmm. You guys are using no light source, right? Just my goggles. Okay, just your goggles. Sounds yeah. good. I have a vision. I have dark vision. Me too, fellas. It's my goggles. What time of day is it? Oh, you guys got here right night. It's all in it, the sky is getting dark and windy, like that. So like it's starting to rain yes. a little bit. Okay. Well, we might look around. Is there a candle? But light there is a continual hallway here to a door, an uh, open door. And a hallway there. So after you get past this, everything here is open, okay? Okay. We'll go and we'll get her. Yep. Wow. So you, you go past the hole. Do a, um, give me a... Uh, fuck. Why are you guys letting me lead the way? Give I'm me like an investigation check. Me? Me. No. I'm leading. Yeah. Why are you guys letting me lead the way? I'm like 40 years old. I don't have... I'm too old for this. Um, let me see. Investigation will be plus three. Sixteen. You can hear creaks on the floorboard above you, above that hole. Mm -hmm. uh, there may be people up there. Mm. I don't hear as good as I used to, but it sounds like there's some fat feet upstairs. Mm. I'll draw my attention to it. Can we see anything looking up through the hole? No. It's too dark and the angle you're at with 15 feet, you can't quite see, but you just heard that. All right, so he pushes forward. I'm gonna pull out my uh, rod and extend it. Oh my. Oh. And I'm gonna, um, <laughs> I'm gonna take my mirror and like attach it to the end and like, Slowly bring it up to that hole and see if I can't look out the top. Look up there. Very okay. well. It's dark, isn't it? It's probably wouldn't be able to it see. It's dark. That would be kind of a stretch, wouldn't it? No, no, no. Go for it. Let's do this. This is fun. I'm gonna do. Do a stealth check. 21. You get a glimpse, a glimpse of like the shine of weapons 
magnify off the uh, like a glint of steel. An armor, maybe. A glint of steel. Maybe. There definitely you didn't get to see all it is because it's too dark, but yeah. you saw a little bit of silver. I'll just bring it down real slow and uh, whisper the word into the rod. It comes back together. We've got company upstairs. Well, why am I whispering? We've got company upstairs in your mind. And uh, old man Wilkins takes a peek in the old dining room. Um, I hate unexpected company. As you creep into the door, you look around, and the walls are covered with crude drawings that appear to be blood. And they depict boars chasing stick figure humanoids. There's a fireplace uh, that is on the south side of the wall. A smashed wooden dining table lies in a heap on the eastern half of the room, surrounded by broken chairs. And it looks like um, they've turned this into some kind of preparation room of sorts, with tables and stuff skewed about. Like they're working on stuff. There's uh, vines and twigs and wood and stuff in here. Rituals? I think this. Stuff on the table They're that pique your interest. I think this might be worse than orcs. I think it might be something much I'm worse. Investigate. I think it might be artists. <laughs> I'm going to give Trent the first shot at it since he was in the door. Do you want to investigate the table? Mm -mm. I want to see what's in okay. here. Well, as you're walking, then I'll let you follow up then, you know. So you go up to the table... When you look at the table, there's stick figures on it that are very reminiscent to the stick figures you came across at the loggers' camp. Mm. One is um, voodoo dolls. One's decent size with crazy leaf hair. One's half size, and a third one's got a scarf around its neck, a piece of uh, cloth around its neck. Mm. Not good. Look at this. Is it supposed to be us? I'll right. say it's not good. I believe this so. This pantry doesn't have any food in it. Hmm. Wait, does it? No. Damn it! Because bless my soul if that's not Wilkins. Which one? The one with the... With a scarf? I haven't worn a scarf in years. When you pick it up, <clears throat> it bites your hand. <gasps> ah! Roll for initiative. These artists are getting creative. How about that? All these rogues with high initiatives, and you roll twos. And these hop off the table. It's very evil dead. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, oh my. Uh, oh shit, battle music. 20 through 25. Or 25 to 20. Um, what is it? 20 to 15? 6. 15 to 10? 11. 11. 10. You said 6, Chad? Yes. Alright. There we go. Um, with you, Chad. You had that one in your hand. I'm gonna say take three points piercing damage. He just bit into your hand. Don't hurt my voodoo doll. <laughs> yeah, it is weird that it was the old man Wilkins voodoo doll <laughs> that bite him too. Don't hurt him. I didn't mean it. All right, you're first up, Mike D. All right, I will. Uh... But I'll say you still. Oh, you let go of him, didn't you? Yes. Ow. Oh. I'll attack that one there. Uh -huh. That fucking thing. What does mine look like? This is gonna be. Um, um, just call it skinny. Twelve. <laughs> Twelve um, will not hit. This one doesn't have anything special, but it's just two covered two in slime. Really. I'm sorry. What'd you say? I, get, I think I get two attacks. Yes, yeah, so you get yeah. two attacks now. Right. Level five. And that's gonna be a sixteen. 16 will hit. Alright. This is the little short one that looks like you. It's going to be 12. You bring your hammer down and it splinters apart. So, 
the shatters. You killed the little voodoo. Killed myself? Yeah, the little voodoo. Tordic. Tordic. Mm. You're up next, old man Wilkins. Am I, I or is group one? We're going this way. Oh, okay, sorry. He switched I'm just like Oh, did I? I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm just like sick. today. Whatever it is, it's uh, Mike D first, then Trent. Then uh, then I'm going to cast Firebolt on the one wearing a scarf. Sixteen to hit. Sixteen will hit. And Firebolt does two D ten. Why does it make me like see the things I want to see? Two D ten. So much it does. Eighteen. Oh, you just it bursts apart. <laughs> I say, yeah. And then you want, I want to lean down and. <laughs> Jester to the one that looks like me. You don't have to do this. Come God. on, to Pappy. Come on, come to Pappy. The sound of the fireball pew, pew, pew. drops four orcs in. They hear it. They, come, the orcs. they start coming down there. Oh uh, boy. They'll go next turn. Um, that one is right at you, Chad. He's gonna go at. You. He's gonna go at your legs. Oh okay. Go for his left knee. That's his bad one. 19 to hit? Oh, of course. Uh, take three piercing damage. Ooh! So he just scratches at your legs. See that? I'm feisty. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're up, Chad. Um, <clears throat> Don't hurt him! Turn your attention to the orcs! I am. Uh, I'm going to uh, disengage the bonus action. Mm -hmm. Step right here. On five. All right. This first guy, I'm going to attempt to uh, soul blade it. Okay. Will you thrown it? Yes. We have company, I say. The elf ears picked up that they hopped down on the ground. You hear the clank of their armor and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's very low. That's 13 to hit. 13's just on the number. All right. Well, then that's... Uh, Uh, it's gonna be nine points of psychic damage. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's it. I don't have a bonus action because I used it to do some good. All right. There we go. Um, she is going to cast bless on everyone. That's her turn. So she's gonna kind of come up, go off the side of the wall to get away from them. And it is your turn, Mike D. I'm now adding the orcs to the initiative. They rolled a natural one, so they're going to go last. Hey, right, well, I'm going to attack that guy because he's there. Okay. No! That's going to be uh, no! 20, 20, yeah, the orcs are going to be way yeah, more dangerous. Yeah, 22. Uh, yeah, that hits. Okay. No! But he's there, you know what I mean? I uh, know. I want to know how much satisfaction yeah. you get out of this. Don't yeah. hurt Therapeutic. Him! 15. Yeah. 15 smashes. Like when you hit him, you <sighs> kind of just kind of get an idea that's like hitting old man Wilkins. So I, I put my foot on him and I swing it like a mallet. <laughs> and I, I send it over to old man Wilkins. <laughs> <laughs> his little head rolls up there with his poofy grass hair. And he's got this dumb look on his face like, My son! <laughs> no! Yeah. No. Don't you get a bonus for killing? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Two attacks. Even though it's a little twig blight. So Fucking tort it. Run it out there and shit. Come on, motherfucker. That's the one I've already hit, so he's yep. got nine damage on him. Oh, cool. Alright, so that's gonna be a twenty-two. A twenty? You rolled eleven plus what? Oh, 14. Oh, that's a fourteen. Plus okay, eight. yeah, that hits. Right. Yeah. Wait, yeah, no, no, I don't know. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, just, I thought I was like 11. How did, what do you get on the fucking... That's double? Yeah, no, that hits, yeah. Yeah, 22. I mean, Chad established it with his low 13. <laughs> and that is going to be 12 points. That'll kill him. All right. You smack, You roll in there and you smash him. Got two one kills. More. And then I can, I can still move, I think, one more. You see I shadows know. moving above you. Glints of steel. That's more coming. So I'll take that guy. And that's going to be a 19 plus whatever, so 27? Yep. yep. Do I get a 
another bonus kill for killing that guy? Actually, you get one, one bonus yeah. action, yeah. Right. That's going to be um, 11 points. A good hit. Yeah. Okay. He is definitely bloodied. Beyond. Definitely. definitely. You're up, old man Wilkins, the dead baby in front of you. Old man Wilkins. <laughs> Um, very distraught by the death of his kid son, is going to step over in front of his doorway. Wouldn't you know? Wouldn't you know it upset him? Would not you know it it upset him? By the end of your turn, I tried. Out of my it's way. too soon. I can't. Why? It's too soon. <laughs> because I have to stay within sight. You can still stay. You can get around him, man. I can. I so can I move. see him? Do that, can I, I see them from that. out here? I'll give you this one. There you go. Well, I mean, you should do what you want to do. You can do what you want to do, but I'm talking to you in your head. It's just that doorway makes it tough. I'll give you these two. Go ahead. Okay, I'll just take this one. It's for fun. Let's it's go. just one of them. Yeah, let's go. Um, make a wisdom saving throw. 16. 16. Uh, plus, I don't think there's nothing plus. happens. If you roll the okay, sixteen, yeah, I roll nothing 16. happens. Mm. Shit, I'm just so distraught. <laughs> um, I can't focus on any of my magics, and I put my hands out to exert my will, uh, but I just can't focus with my big baby here. So uh, instead of casting his spell, he crouches down and just cl clutches the broken pieces of his voodoo <laughs> <laughs> doll. <laughs> they were too young. No more twigs, so there's no group one. You're up, Chad. Okay, yeah, this is why. I never knew it would be such a sticky situation. If I don't situation. have to move, I can do this. I'm gonna try and zap him. Too soon. He's <laughs> five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. yeah, okay, he's, he's, he's within 60 feet. I'm going to try and zap him with my um, soul knife. I'm going to use advantage uh, aiming technique. Yeah, rolled a 17, so. Is that what hit? That's um, 8, um, 9, 10, 11. 16, yeah, uh, 20, or 19, 19 damage. That definitely kills him. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. The knife hits him in the chest and he kind of just eyes roll in the back of the head and he falls back. Alright. It's the end of my turn. Alright, so she, um, My teeth marks. <laughs> my finger is bleeding. <laughs> you get a splinter? In my toe. <laughs> She's gonna go ahead and cast aid. Each one of you guys will get. Um, she have to get here to see Torvik. So she can see all three of you. Cast aid, you get five extra hit points for what? up to eight hours. What? Five temp hit points? Yeah, five temp hit points. It goes on top. Yeah. Yeah, got it. But it lasts for eight hours, so if you take a potion, you get that five. And okay. it is now the orc's turns. Um, this one's going to come barreling in the room. Right there. Oh boy. It's going to swing at old man Wilkins. Twenty-one to hit. What have you got, old man Wilkins? Twenty-one to hit. Yes. Nine points. Slashing damage. Okay. This one's gonna run in and swing at her. Very close quarters. To hit an old man while he's down. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you see I'm mourning? She's going to take nine points slashing damage, too. Yikes. Mm. These orcs are killing your girlfriend. I know. Mm. Bastards. You're going to 
you're gonna pump that guy up, aren't you? And then these guys pop through the roof. Man, what there's are a those? hole. They're orcs. Oh, they're they're regular, so orcs. regular orcs. Orkies. I'm gonna say their action was to move. Drop down. You know what? I'm gonna say one of them takes a shot toward it. What the fuck not? We're here for they fun. They get to move their speed anyway. Yeah, they get aggression. You're right. Actually, you know what? That's fine. We're gonna surround Tordic. Time for glory, buddy. Time I'm for glory. Sorry, I shouldn't have said. <laughs> so the first one is uh, twenty to hit. Yeah, that hit. You're gonna take nine points slash damage. Oh. Second one. Orcs are bastards. Second one is sixteen to hit. Yep. Uh, sixteen is the number. So then you're gonna take yeah. nine points slash damage, and the last one's gonna go. That's a nine. You're not gonna take anything on that one. Okay. So you just took two axes, just came at you. And you just, oh, and you're in the hallway. You're fucking fighting around orc dead bodies and shit. Yeah, dust is flying everywhere. Yeah, it's fucking hardcore. Blood so you should everywhere. take 18 points damage it total. Slashing. That's what okay. I'm um, It is your turn, Mike. How do you retaliate to this shit? Uh, I am going to attack the first one first, I guess. Which one? This one. Okay, yeah, yeah. And that's going to be a 24. That Ooh, is, yeah. Nice. Come on, man. Bring it. And that's going to be for... Um, what's the uh, bless do? That's you, to hit. That's to hit. If you roll low, you can add that to your okay. attack, but not to your damage, right? Yeah, not to your damage. The only way to boost your damage is to smite. Yeah. To smite. Right. But that's if, you, if you're like, you roll close, because Chad's established 13 is the number to go for. Yeah. You roll a 12, you're, you want to use that. Yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, eight points on the first attack. Yep. And then I will attack again. Same guy. And that's going to be a uh, 15. That hits. And that's going to be for 15 points. That's on the same guy? Yeah. You put him down. You smash him with your hammer. You hit him once, and then you flip the hammer around, and you smash him in the face, and his jaw just crushes. Nice. And then bonus on that guy? Yeah. Orc teeth. Raining everywhere. Yeah, teeth smite. everywhere. I don't want to smite that guy. You guys mess with the wrong dwarf. They call me the dentist. She is so <laughs> wet right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be uh, 21 to hit. 21 hits. And then my smite was... What's your name? Sejan Kwan. Sejan Kwan up there and they have some whap. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can still roll your attack, and then you roll your smite on top of it. Oh, so you can roll your attack, right? And then add his smite afterwards? Yeah. yeah. You can choose so roll smite your smite afterwards. Oh, you can choose after? Yeah. yeah. You've already hit, so roll your right. attack. So that's going to be for... Uh, 12. 12 then really then bloodies him pretty good. You can just roll your smite. And then, how many dice is it? It or depends on what level you do it at. Level 1 is level 1. Okay. So you're going to expel one spell slot for yeah. 1d8. And that's going to be for another 12. So you hit him, and you, 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 well, you empower your hammer as you go to hit him, and it lights up, and it just completely crushes in his head between his, his shoulders, killing him. Oh, it's just kind of just... Smashing it Yeah, you smash it right in the middle. Boom. And you kind of push him off with your hammer. Yeah. Wait and work shit. Everybody claps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're living my fantasy right now. <laughs> Killing a what, Oh, a chick watching him fight? I'm sorry. With a magical <laughs> hammer. <laughs> you got anything else? Nope, that's it. All right, you're up, uh, old man Wilkins. Okay. All I ever wanted was to be a dwarf and kill orcs <laughs> okay. with a hammer. You picked the wrong campaign to be an elf, right? Yes. <laughs> Um, so, Old Man Wilkins is overcome with grief, but the, uh, the worm inside his brain lurches suddenly, making him spring into action, and, uh, he casts Chaos Bolt. Tickle. Chaos Bolt! It's a 22 to hit, that is. this orc, yep. and I'm twinning the spell, so it'll also hit this uh -huh. orc. So, do 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 this orc is going to take 11 damage, right. and it is going to be psychic damage as I assault his mind. And then this orc 
is going to take 15, 16. You kill that one. How's it look? You just kind of blood like, out of his ears and shit. Mm -hmm. So, um. He crumbles to his knees and breaks. Dies. So, are they both dead or just one? Just one. Okay. The second one. Second the one. second one? Yeah. How? Because I did less damage than the second one. No, you just said you did 17 16. and 16. I thought. No, you said you did 11 the first time. Okay, I don't know. I'm old. Okay. Yeah. I have to yeah, you did 11 the first time, and then you did 16 the second. Um, according to what I wrote down here. I assault their minds, or rather, the worm inside my head assaults their minds, um, causing them to hemorrhage and die. And that's it. I mean, it's psychic damage. All right. They just die. <laughs> You're up. Um, he didn't even star. fuck around. He just found out. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to attack that orc. 18 to that'll, hit. That'll hit. I'm going to see if this does it. Um, that is 7 points of psychic damage. That does it. Okay, so he runs, uh, Navik runs at full tilt. He pulled, puts his soul knife out, sticks it in the back of that orc's head, and jump and flips over him like that, and then comes down with like superhero land right there, and he can still see this girl, yes. and he just falls forward. Falls Boom. Forward. Okay. Do you want an acrobatics check for that? Yeah, let's <laughs> okay. keep going. Five, We're good. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Yep. I have 35 feet of movement. Well, is that considered run up to her? <laughs> to him? No. Because it had to be on the other side. It's not. He's not adjacent to her. Him? Yeah. No, no the, he's the in horse is just square. piling up. Oh yeah. no! I did. He's, yeah, I killed the one he's in front one, of her. He's, he's at least one cube yeah. away. So uh, he's okay. I didn't cube, step I under the hole because I didn't here. know more were coming down. You run up nonetheless. Come on, be a man. I know. Fuck that shit up. I'm trying to get sneak attack. That's all I'm trying to do. Sorry. It's my one trick pony. No. Give <laughs> me twelve to hit. Twelve will not hit. Plus three, fifteen. Yep, that hits. That's what it's for, Mike D. Boom. <laughs> and that does six psychic damage. Yep. Ah, wish you were closer. That would have been a big hit. But you wouldn't you have to be on the other side of him for to get advantage? I don't want advantage. No, sneak oh. attack. Oh, sneak attack. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I misunderstood. That. All right. I'm trying to get sweet. Well, you're right in front of it, so it's going to go ahead and uh, swing at you, Chad. Yeah. That's a natural two. So I'm trying to put it down in one hit. All right, it is going to be Mike D's turn. He might get the one hit. <laughs> he will. I'll jump on top of this orc here. Yeah. I'm going to smack the right Climbs up on the head. orc so he can look at it it's in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So that's going to be a uh, 15. That will hit. That's going to be four. Uh, 14 points. How's it look? Smack him right in the back of the head and our eyeballs go squirting out. One goes past each side of West Star. Nice. And if I was dead... Uh... The hallway's covered with orc blood and bodies. God, feels like there was a fucking regiment upstairs. I got one. Me too. <laughs> but I did just lose a son. <laughs> I it's it's sticking back face. together. <laughs> oh, man, are, are you okay, Tordic? Oh, yeah. He's covered in orc <laughs> blood. My eyes are glowing red. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got a big yeah, old. Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. can just see my grin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Old Man Wilkins is going to take some time. He gets a little bag and he collects the pieces of his voodoo doll. <laughs> Poor little sprout. <laughs> well, we do not have the element of surprise anymore. No, we do not. Do we hear any more rustling through the hole? No. You know, there's no word for a parent that loses their child because the pain is just... Too unimaginable to describe. Um, we're gonna start with Westar and Old Man Wilkins because there was a door there that Old Man Wilkins was looking in. Well, you I probably caught a glimpse there. Bodies. 
you can investigate the work bodies, but when you were, you kind of walked to that door, you could saw that was like a kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty rummaged. There's not too much in there that would be of interest. I just wanted to follow up with that. Yeah. And you see two holes where rats might have come in and taken all the food. Ooh, um, my soldiers have been here. <laughs> <laughs> are these painted orcs or regular orcs? These are regular orcs. Hmm. That's what I was doing. I was investigating the body okay. to see if they were So investigating followers. them, you notice these are just standard orcs. The only weapons you would find would be like great swords. Well, I'm not looking for that. Like that. I'm yeah, really there's trying, really I was trying to investigate them for. You you get the idea the that they were just resting. You guys made too much noise, and they immediately came down, and boom, they just dropped into a hellfire of dwarf. Now Correct. they're really resting. They don't seem to be followers of Talos, or at least they are not marked as such. They're full orcs. You've noticed the followers of Talos are pretty much half orcs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Full on. Is it racist to assume that these are full orcs? How does one tell <laughs> someone is half orc? Hmm. I'll go and join Wilkins. Is there anything in there? No. Come on, Wilkins. There's nothing in the kitchen. We'll go down the hall there and check out those other rooms. Hey, which door are we going to go in? We'll go down this hallway here and check out that room. So there's a door there. There's a door you would walk past. Yeah, oh, that's a door. Let's do that one first. All these are real rooms. We'll do that one first. The closest so, first. Yeah, you look in there. Old Man Wilkins trips over the body of an orc on the way there. <laughs> <laughs> and he takes a second to cry <laughs> on the ground again. <laughs> I can see all the snot just come rolling out. When you when you look in that door, you notice there's no roof. Um, it's like a mini courtyard. Uh, stone steps lead down to a flagstone courtyard that has a pillared arcade to the east. Seven windows on the upper level look outlook the courtyard, in the middle of which is a five foot wide stone well with thick vines erupting from it. I'll walk out there into the garden. Yes. And look around at the windows. They're covered in vines. They seem uh, so. It's not like anyone's to... gonna jump down. From no, the no. They you definitely. They'd have to break through the vines. Looking down the well, it's too dark to see by by normal whatever vision you have. What do you got? Dark, ah. dark vision. I can maybe make a soul knife and throw it down there and see if the glow like ignites it sixty yeah. feet down. Yes, yes, yes. You notice there's a tree in the well. A sickly looking tree. That's so it lights a sick up for a tree. And then goes away as, as my yeah. soul, soul beam. You see up. all the branches and the light and stuff. Yeah. There's some sort of tree. In That's the in this well? This yeah, well. it's in the well. You yeah. want to go down there? Mm -hmm. Are the vines that poisonous vine on this well? No. Um, but you have to be a small or medium creature to go down the well to fit down there. Uh, small or medium? Am I medium? Well, we may, like, we're all medium. You know who could fit down that well? <laughs> I smack you and I take the, the, the body no. and I throw it down the well. Um, I would like to try to squeeze into the well. <laughs> I'm gonna it's, set up a grappling hook and a climbing. What happened? It's to climb pretty down. deep, so you're gonna climb down the well, or wait, I can fit down it. I thought you said only a small creature. Small or medium? We're both medium. Oh, I thought I was a large. <laughs> no. I'm gonna set up a, a like a, gra a a climbing station here. We're all gonna do. we're all gonna rappel down and check this out. Yo, cool. No, I'm it, it would going down to, the well. It, it's such tight fit. It would be one at a time. I want to go why. first. I'm gonna hook a grappling hook to the side. All right. You know, so walk me through what down. you guys do. See, I hook a right. hook and drop a rope so that we can all go down. Okay, but how do we down. go down? I mean, if you got the I climb rope. first. All right. So he's. I, I don't want to let you climb first. Nice uh, seven is down there, and I'll take you to. I, I'm the scout. I'll go down. No, I'm going down. Old he floats Wilkins. down, and I shuffle down behind him. He floats down. He's on the rope. I don't float down. I go down the rope. Okay, you shuffle down. That's right. Papa's coming. I slide down the rope because it's lubricated now. That's right. <laughs> Put yourselves down at the bottom of the well, then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's just say it kind of branches out when you get to the bottom. I am Is that, I'm going to ask, can you see a way out of there? No. Should I, I wait let, up here? Why don't you wait? 
walled in. Immediately start looking. Say, just, just for the make back. sure no one <laughs> ambushes us from behind. You notice yeah. the sap is blood, like it's not sappy, it's not sticky. Mm. It's bloody sap. Yeah, I'll light a torch so we can see better. I'm trying to find my son. The tree that's pulsating somewhat with mm. bloody. Uh, Did they make that? Can I make a nature check to see what I would know about uh, yes. this kind of uh, yeah. Fun- anomaly? Yeah. It would be a 17. You would you would guesstimate this is a Gathias tree. Oh, it look like the same? And you would know that probably, being part of the Emerald Oncave, that this is produces blights. Blights. To defend itself or to create an army. Mm. Does that look like the tree that the little guys were made out of? Yes. This is a Gathias tree. So, most likely, those little fellows were made of this branches of this tree. But it is injured. It is bleeding. It has been, I would assume, pressed to its limits by something. Hmm. Quite possibly, our orcs are building an army of blights. Or they're simply torturing it for their own... The amusement. <laughs> would those little voodoo dolls, would that be considered a blight? Yeah. Would I know that magic to be blightish? Sure. I would assume it is some sort of form of blight, yes. Certainly not a full-fledged one. I would like to um, see if I know a way to care for a tree like this. There's no caring for it. You know that uh, the only way you can kill a Gathias tree is to uproot it. And you don't have the ability to uproot it. But it's injured, it's though, right? Like, so it's bleeding? No. Oh, oh okay. It's, that's how it produces its ill magic. And that's what produces the... Uh, so it is an ill magic. It's like an evil magic. Well, it's creating blights. It's, it's your opinion, opinion if it's evil the or good. The wood elf probably thinks that's... It's nature anyway. It's so. nature and it's being used for evil, evil purposes at this point to make voodoo dolls. So the orcs or the half orcs are using this for their own purposes. But mm. to kill it would be. I mean, I'm not doing that. There's ritual to it. Um, I have, that's not my interest. Um, yeah. Probably it was once the uh, ownership of the mage or wizard that owned this house and maybe was used. For some good. Oh, yeah. But now it's been yeah. perverted. Well, let's go back up. Could it be healed? Um, it's just producing a lot of bloody sap. That's how it creates blights. They're, they're just harvesting blights from it. Do you have noticed that you create no harm to it? You've done nothing, so it hasn't attacked you. So yeah. you know it's it's neither I just evil nor to, good. I just want to investigate the... Uh, the well, see if there was anything down there that would give us any clues about what's going on that does give me the clue now. I mean, that we've gone down there and see yeah. if that's what they're doing. So they're preparing for war. I'll climb back up mm-hmm. and unhook my hook after Welkins comes up. Well, I'll go back out and look at them works. Do, are any of them carrying wooden talismans or anything? No. That would indicate that they were part of that? or No, no we were trying to investigate that before. Nope. Mm. We'll go to that next room where Wilkins' as many is. All right. <laughs> this room was once a bedchamber. Kitchen and dining room rolled into one. Four beds stand along the south wall with shuttered windows and nightstands between them. Against the west wall are four wardrobes and a cabinet full of plain dishware and cutlery. Cult- cult- Four chairs surround a small dining table in the northwest corner, and a table screwed with pots and cooking utensils stand near a blackened fireplace. All the furnishings are made of wood. The ceiling in the southwest corner of the room has collapsed, filling the area below with debris, and leaving it, oh, <laughs> leaving a jagged hole. I might have done the wrong word. Hey, it's done. It's done. Mm-mm, this is yeah. right. Okay. The sleeping quarters slash kitchen. It's empty except Probably for the junk. Where servants used to live. Um, old man Wilkins is going to. You said there's pots and pans. Yeah. I'm going to take one of the pots. Okay. He's going to put it on his head, and he's just going to lay down on the bed. Um. It, Pathetic sobs echo through 
I was gonna say, of the pot. Before you do that, you hear some chanting coming from the other room. This room here? Yes. Gut roll and chanting. <laughs> He's gonna say, wake me when you're done looking around. Can I, uh... Is that the only entrance to that room right there yep. that we can tell? Yep, yep. I'm gonna say there's a door there, okay? Is it closed? Yeah, it's closed. Oh, shit. No. Fuck. So we can just see in it? Yeah. The door of the east room is smashed open. Okay, so that door is smashed open. Um, you can look. There's no light at all. I have dark vision. What used to be some sort of laboratory lies in ruin. Its furnishings broken and heaped along against the walls. In the middle of the room, painted on the floor with mud, is a ten-foot-wide symbol depicting three lightning bolts joined at the tips. Is that what we saw in that tower? Yes. Where the lightning bolts converge, a half-orc wearing hide armor performs an eerie dance while consuming the entrails of a dead possum. Standing around the half-orc are several small twig figures. Are you going to cry in bed while this weird shit is going on in the next room? It's one thing? Yep. Roll for initiative. It's Stink Fist. He's dancing around. He's completing Jesus. some form of ritual. <clears throat> There's no high initiatives tonight, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Did your initiative ever go up? It's based on your uh, intelligence. Your dexterity. No oh, dexterity. Mm -hmm. Most likely yours will not. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> well, you can probably get Mine's some plus kind of four, but it don't fucking matter. I keep rolling really low. You can get some kind of boots or something, right? Yeah, maybe. Mm. I don't think it matters for paladins and barbarians. It mostly matters for rogues and, like, spellcasters. So they can like, drop on shit, you know what I mean? Fighters? Big guys like us? Or, like, your character? Yeah. Don't matter when they go. I can take that one feet. What? That gives you plus five to initiative alert. I think it is. Well, yeah, I think it is. Mm -hmm. Twenty-five to twenty. Twenty to fifteen. Fifteen to ten. Twelve. All right. Okay, so we got thirteen. He rolled a twelve, so let's roll off. Seventeen. Nine. Okay, so you're next. What do you got, Chad? Eight. So you're gonna go right after him. We got a, a six and a five. Okie dokie. That's really okay though. Like, just, you guys can get adjacent to these motherfuckers. I can go in there. And Old Man Wilkins, you're whoop first. Old Man Wilkins is going to get up from out of the bed and walk over to line of sight of that guy in the center. Mm -hmm. Um. He looks like he's in charge, and uh, he's going to cast Chaos Bolt at him. Kodak, if you can hear me in your head, draw them out of that room so that they're a little spread out. No. I don't have. We don't have inspiration, do we? No. Don't you still have the um, blessed. bless? I crit failed. Oh. oh. Owl. So I, I don't know if I have inspiration. Not I can look at my. We don't. Oh no! I leave it marked on my thing. I don't remember if I had it or not. Remember either. No, it's it's not highlighted. So, um, Oban Wilkins is going to conjure up a ball of undulating energy. But as he does this, the pot that he put onto his head slips down and covers his eyes, so he just <laughs> fires it off and it hits against the wall, doing nothing. And that's the end of his turn. Okay. <coughs> you step out of the way. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 70? That's right. They can dash as a bonus action. Yeah, but why 70? Sometimes they can move 40. Yeah, but 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Right? Yeah. He likes to count well, high. I'm sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> I was thinking about my turn. Mm. 
Um, he's going to cast Lightning Bolt. Okay. Interesting choice. Can I add the blast to my saving throw? Yes. This is only a d4? Yeah. That's such a weird d4. I, I was so confused. I was like, It's cool. One, I like two, it. Two, it just two, seems three. chunkier. Like, yeah. What? Um, yeah, it's only seven. Okay. You only get seven. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. You have this blast back. Sorry. Yeah, this is like death for me. The funny thing is, if he had just waited another second, all of us would have lined up and he would have gotten all of us. 29 points lightning damage. Okay. That's the um, boss going right now? Yeah. Yep. The lightning blasting old man Wilkins is magnified by the metal pot on his head, and uh, <laughs> steam like him, rises up like out of the pot as he's <laughs> fried <laughs> nearly But he took it! Not yet. Let's try to draw them out of there. Okay. But I think I've got a... He took it! Oh. Don't tell me I could have clicked on lightning bolt here. No, I could have! No! <laughs> Sorry, I'll have a raise next time. Got this. Okay. Uh, you are up, Mike D. Alright, I'm gonna hold my action until something comes through the doorway. Now, if I were you, keep in mind, he was creating a ritual in the room. And these blights are positioned to, like, defend him. Okay. I just saw an opportunity to really fuck somebody up, so I took it. Oh. So you might have a plan for them to file out, but they might have a plan where they're here to protect him. He's got these three lightning bolts on the floor channeling powers of Talos. Well, can you get past me if I if I go to the doorway? I'm going to throw a grenade into the room. Oh. You can hold your action, it's up to you. Can I hold my action until after he goes? Is that permittable? You could hold your action to throw a javelin into the room after my action has been triggered if you want to make that trigger. Okay. Want to do that? Sure. I think I can hit a lot of them in one hit with this thing that I found. Yeah. Yeah, it's just what you guys want to do. Yeah. It's your call. You hold your action until after Chad, and then you're going to attack with a javelin. So you're pulling a javelin out. Okay, sounds good. Hmm. You're up, Chad. West our steps right here. Uh-huh. I gotta throw this into as up to sixty feet. I oh yeah. I throw a bead. Uh-huh. And it casts a level three fireball spell. You got fireball what? No, it's eight D six. And I think it's a D C or something. Not on the card? A bright Streak flashes from your point to the point you choose, which is going to be where the bead lands. Uh huh. The low roar into an explosion of flame. Each creature in a 20 foot radius sphere centered at that point must make a dexterity saving throw. The target takes 8d6 fire damage on a failed save. I don't know what the, the DC would be. Let's see. What, oh, DC 15. Alright, so we'll start with the bead going right to him, the main guy. Okay. Alright. A 5. Fail. That's going to be a fail. Their dex is plus 1, so it's a 6. So. Uh, let me see what the decks on the other ones are here real quick. Um, plus one. Okay. So, um... Okay, thank you. Let's see, we got one, two, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Okay. What was it I had to get? Fifteen? Fifteen. Okay. Two, four, six. <laughs> God you're your blessed to it. Can you add your blessed to it? Two of them succeeded out of the eight. Okay. Everyone in the room is going to take uh, eight, nine, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23 damage, half on the uh, six, the ones that succeeded. The sexy ones. 
That's why I didn't want you to step in the room. I think that's worth gotcha. doing. I'm not going to do that a whole lot. She says 22 damage. Uh, 23. Okay. And half so, on and then half on the anyone that's that You come around the corner. You toss in this little firebolt. Explosion it. happens. <laughs> it smashes these twigs all over the wall. It hobbles him to where he's bloodied. Oh wow. He killed everything in the motherfucking room. <laughs> <laughs> like an AK. <laughs> Now we're Westar, Westar throws this bead, and as it blows up, he goes. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have a javelin. Yeah. I'll say you can take a shot at now. You can make your attack. Yeah, yeah. Throw Go ahead. Make your attack. Natural twenty. <laughs> Huzzah! I gotta get it. I got it. I'll give you inspiration for all in natural twenty. Yeah. We, uh, oh, I never told anybody about the new natural 20 order rules. Oh. We're just going back to the roll. Sorry, guys. We're going back to the roll? Yes. Two dice. Yeah. So I get to roll 2d6? Well, yeah, but you get inspiration now. Okay, that works. That's yeah. a... Oh, okay. Yeah, inspiration for only natural 20. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to go with. Yeah. So that is going to be... Um, just one plus four, though, right? On the damage? It's your, it's your javelin. Yeah. Yeah. So, But I just get one bonus. You get on you it? double your dice and then add to whatever that is. Okay. Yeah, just one. Yeah, yeah, yeah just uh, so two dice be, and one. Uh, one 12. Dice. 12. 12 is still a pretty good hit. So, cow. Can I smite with the javelin? I don't think so. can't no. work from It's got to be melee attack. Right. Um, she's going to walk in the room and cast Cure Wounds on you. Oh. 1d8 plus her modifier, which is... Her modifier is... 6. So 1d8 plus 6. And you thought she did your more. Do you want me to roll the d8? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, please. Okay. So 12. So that should help you out a little bit. That helps a little bit. And then uh, it is your turn. Old Man Wilkins. Okay, Old Man Wilkins is already has his shit all figured out. Uh huh. So, um. Hold on, I thought I already had my shit figured out. Hold on. Sorry. Um, the pot levitates a little bit off of his head after, um, you know, he's been electrocuted. <laughs> and a third eye forms on his, up, oh, on his forehead. Here we go. And, uh, a beam shoots out towards this guy. He has to make an intelligence save. It's um, 17. Okay. <laughs> 17 is good, so he's fine. Alright, so then. Oh, okay, so never mind, sorry. He has to make a wisdom saving throw now. Oh, okay. I'm casting a different spell. I Thir use quick and spell. 13. 13 does not succeed. Okay. So. He needs to take 18 psychic damage. Okay. And he's still alive? Yes. Done. So, yeah, now he must use a... This isn't going to really do anything. Uh, reaction to move as far as its speed allows away from me. So it just moves back one step. Um, so he just fires out this beam from his forehead, and it hits him, knocks him back a little bit, and the pot falls back down onto his and head. Does he have to stay away from you? <laughs> no. Okay. Just for one turn. Yep. He just has to use his reaction to move as far away as possible. Alright. Got anything else? That's it. Alright, he's gonna, since he doesn't have to stay away from you, he's gonna come forward. And he's going to cast Thunder Wave. So Thunder Wave should be able to hit at least these guys. All of us, yeah. 15 feet, 5, 10, 15. It's like a 15 foot cube, I think. It's a 15, 15 foot cube. It's everybody in that room. 
Alright. He's gonna cast Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave. Hey, you guys are out of it though. Yeah. Uh, well, it would kill me if I wasn't. Each creature in a 15 foot cube originating from you must make a constitution saving throw. So it's like 5, 10, 15. Yeah, I think it's just these guys here. Yeah, I think you're out of it. Yeah. I don't think you look up Thunder Wave like 100 times. But 15 feet, I mean, let's be real. 5, 10, 15, he's still with the outside of it. Honestly. I'm going really with this. You're, you're out of it, Trent. Don't worry, okay? I don't care. I Give me a constitution save throw. That's been the one constant. That's been the uh, controversial spell forever. Well, yeah. I'll have people on my team. All right. The pass is what you got. 11. All right. Okay. emanating from, we assume, it was in all directions. Yeah. But really, it's like you did this. Yeah. <laughs> <It's just funny. laughs> Thanks for the new dice, Chad. I rolled three. So you take half of it. Two, two points. Uh, Damage, but push. you're not pushed. I hit something. I failed, right? But did you fail? Eleven. Well, yeah, you failed. Take three points in instead of two. Okay. <laughs> the weakest fucking thunder wave ever. It's only two d six. <laughs> yep. He's weakened after. Yep. I'm gonna slap him. He's cast. He's casting at level one. I did fucking. Listen, it does like. Wave. Yeah, it doesn't do level, much. Level one is two d eight. That's two d six. Oh, you're right. Shit. Oh, you're right. Thank That's you, buddy. That's never mind. Left never left mind. That's All right, left you're right. Left. All right. So seven, eight, nine. Okay, it's nine. You're gonna take five. You're gonna take nine. Chad, there you're you pushed. You're pushed away ten feet. Okay. You get pushed into old man Wilkins and the slimy grip of him. <laughs> I got you, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> Not just falling onto your face. <laughs> I can't see you though. So You're up. <laughs> What's the cleric lady's name? What's There's her name? There's gonna again? be a uh, 15. Say John Quinn. Say John 15 John will John. hit. Right. Say John Quinn. That's gonna be for 10 points. Yep. And then I'll hit him again. Okay. And that's gonna be uh, dirty 20. All right. Dirty 20. That hits. And that's gonna be for. 17 points. How's this look? He um, he comes staggering through the doorway, and I hit him once in the knee, drop him to the ground, and I smack him down the rest of the way. <laughs> Very good. And I shove that horn up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> and <Okay>. he plays... <laughs> Take his inspiration away. Take it away. <laughs> I asked him how he wanted to do it. I didn't know if there would be rape there, there it is. There it is. Thunderhorn. Okay. Old Man Wilkins appears takes the pot clear. off of his head and uses his telekinesis to throw it repeatedly back and forth at the thing on the ground. So he's just going, dum, dum, It's dum. okay, it's just okay, calm down. Battering calm it with down. the pot. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> I want to go and investigate the uh, runes on the floor. <laughs> yes. It's the three symbols of uh, Talos. Um, it looked like he was trying to channel something. But he was unable to do it. Mm. Um, uh, you do find... Um, he has like a book and a map and stuff that he had that was a, it's a, a, a leather satchel on the side if you want to investigate it. I would like to investigate it. So you open it and the first thing you notice is there's a torn up flap of a map. Uh, it leads to something called the circle. Well, do you read Orcish? Mm, no. All right. Well, hang on a second. Let me look. I got languages known here. Common. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. You can read that it leads, it's a map leading to the Circle of Thunder, where there's obviously a larger ritual being uh, taken. You look through his books and you read through the books and you get the idea that uh, Granok is his name and uh, he has three other um, alkalites of Talos mm -hmm. working with him. He's a half orc and. Uh, just paging through, you get the idea that they are fighting against the industrialization of the forest. That the loggers, the miners, the city of Fandelvin, how they've been tearing apart the forest. The and orcs are working against The half orcs it. are working mm. against those human elements. Um, but you also see, by flipping through it, that the 
they try to control the full orcs, but they're a brutal race and it's hard to control them in their bloodshed. And it caused certain things like the Butter Skull Ranch Massacre and things like that. Mm. But their original intent was to run these people out of the forest. They did use the White Dragon to help get the forces of the orcs aligned with them. But their ultimate job was to bring nature back. And they haven't been able to do this. They've come across heroes that have stood in their way, and so they're going to call upon Talus finally at the Circle of Thunder for his guidance. Hmm. So they summoned the dragon? They didn't summon the dragon. The dragon came and it ups- it kicked everything up hmm. and forced the orcs out of their home. They had already been working on this for you know behind the scenes, but they didn't have an army <coughs> then. They tried to use the orcs. It didn't work out quite the way they want it. Um, so now... They're going to call upon Talos to end this human blight. Bezos hate mankind. Hmm. I don't blame them. <clears throat> now, when mankind, does that cover, like, dwarves and... Civilized folk. Civilized, yeah. Civilization. The people in Phandelvin who are tearing apart the trees and, uh, you know, cutting logs and hunting the woods with their weapons and stuff like that. They're just up, they're kicking up nature. Basically, almost, the Emerald Enclave's about trying to keep the forest stuff alive. But yet, the Enclave is enemies of these. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, Talos, because Talos is chaos. So, so maybe they feel like it's the dark side, like mm-hmm. they went too far in that direction because they couldn't stand up. And now, based on the map you have, they are decided to put all their chips in to call in upon Talos to bring about the end. Mm. I'll uh, disperse that information to, to my party and I'll tell them um, I don't wholeheartedly disagree with, the, with their goals. I can understand someone holding nature to be sacred, but there is a way of living together with all living civilizations and and cultures. Um, this is uh, eco terrorism. Mm. Their methods are questionable, <clears throat> and therefore they must be stopped. For Talos is more than they can handle, or anyone for that matter. He is chaos. And this map will lead us to the the large ritual where they will summon Talos into this world. If they succeed, <coughs> this land will be wiped out, and you won't have to worry about the dragon. Won't they be wiped out as well? Doesn't matter. Mm, they are willing to sacrifice themselves, obviously. As I point to your um, orc with a horn sticking out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? Uh, we must make haste and, and leave this place. Shall we search the orc? We should search everything. Any more clues that we can find, we'll search the house. <coughs> there is an upstairs. We should go up there. Yeah. So we will. I'll take the stairway up there um, just to see if there's anyone else upstairs. Does that orc have anything on him? Just, uh, no, not, not the uh, Talos orc, no. Is that a half orc then? It's a half orc, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Can we really tell the difference? I guess he, he has a little have lighter color. Big of the tusks. I'm not going to yeah. touch that with his. He doesn't have pole. as big a tusk. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so you know you have rickety stairs, and then uh, yeah, Tordek the saw there. better stairs over there. We're Those are still going to be wooden stairs, even though all I have was stone. There's still wooden stairs over in the library. Right, we're going to check out the library before we leave here and check that staircase out. So look for expediency. You go back to the library, pick up there. Are you getting out of bed? I guess. I'm just Is there any books it. on the bookshelves? Um, <clears throat> the room has a ten foot high wooden balcony forming its upper level, reaching reached by a wooden spiral staircase curling down to the flagstone floor. Tall, empty bookcases line the walls, their shelves mostly bowed and broken. On the lower level, east of the two pillars, are four old desks with chairs tucked behind them. 
a few moldy books are scattered about. So there is a few books on the uh, shelf if you'd like to invest in I am going to check the books out. Is any of them say, how to be a better sneaker? <laughs> Your you stealth increases by one. <laughs> you see a book called Elvish Idol... 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 <laughs> Elvish idols, how about that? <clears throat> Idolatry? Yes. <laughs> Nerd. I'll take it. As you pull it, a secret door opens. <laughs> there seems to be a secret passageway here, boys. Oh, boy. Mm. Down to the tree, though? I'm not sure. Mm. If it goes down to that bloody <clears throat> tree, I'm going to be pissed. I will light my lantern and look down it. There's not a sweet roll hidden in this house. I'm not sure I can move on. <laughs> There's a little packet. Um, a little packet you find. And a rod. Oh, the, so it's just yes. like a, a yeah, just pot. A little, a cubby. Cubby. little cubby. Mm -hmm. Secret cubby. Okay. A little treasure trove. A package? I've got a package. It's a packet full of dust. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you will snort it. Yes! Yes! <coughs> Everything I've always wanted. That's quite, that's quite an item, isn't it? There's also that. So, he's got an immovable rod and the dust of disappearance. <laughs> And a book of elven idolatry. Yes, well, yeah. The book's connected. <laughs> oh. It's like a latch. There you go. I don't want that. People yes. pretend like I'm invisible all the time. I'm like, excuse me, miss, can you spare a gold? And they just ignore me and move past. Well, up to 8,000 pounds, that's insane. That's mine. Wow. That's a good pro. This is like, I can make us all invisible for a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. If we ever need to be invisible. Did you stab that into somebody's foot and they couldn't move? That's right! That's a stabbing pretty hard. It's a blunt <laughs> object. Hey. <laughs> We're in a little others away. Yeah, exactly. So if you go up the stairs, we're going to say they lead here. This is where the spiral staircase would be. Camera's ready. <laughs> It's pretty secure that you've caused quite the ruckus that they're... Any orcs in here better right. come out because I'm tired of your shit! Yeah, at this point I just... Yeah. Yeah. A quick visual in here is where the orcs were hanging out. It's like a little barracks mm. dinner room. Were they eating? And we're going to say these are the stairs down to there, so this is nothing here, even though I put the balcony there. <laughs> yeah, we're just randomly searching for... Yeah. Stuff. Were the orcs eating anything? I'm sure there's uh, some... Pumpkins? That maybe they eat some pumpkins? <laughs> Do they have anything stored in there? Uh, nothing of interest, no. Wilkins is going to start eating pumpkin. Um, he takes quite a bit of the pulpy goop out of the pumpkin and swallows it. The seeds are good if you toast them. Ah, no need! And he comes out of the room covered in sticky orange slime in addition to his usual... Says Layer orcs, of thin mucus. Yeah, it says that orcs ransack that room, you know. We're checking yeah. that room out. That's the master it. bedroom. Master bedroom. Yeah, a little four-post bed stands between two windows. They're closed Checking up. the drawers the drawers for, like, hidden um, monies. The we haven't drawer. really looted much in this game, have we? Give me a We're wisdom. Guys. Give me a he wisdom want perception anything. check. Mm. A natural 18. Mm. Should I roll? Oh, I, I don't know. Chad said he was looking around, so I just... I got an 18. 14. Uh, you notice uh, the, the, the mantelpiece um, on the fireplace has like a little concealed uh, lid. Uh, look, apartment's there. You could open that up. I wouldn't have man manipulated it, yes. Well, no, he was looking at it. He high rolled higher than you. Oh. Give it to him. And you pull oh. out this staff. That's right, yeah. Oh, they were talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. I would say the wizard would get a good time with that one. Oh, God. I might make I'm not a wizard, boy. but I'll take a look. <laughs> the staff of bird calls. <laughs> a 
Amazing. <laughs> That's going to be great. <laughs> Staff bird calls. <laughs> caw caw, caw caw. Dookie oh. dookie. <laughs> Why would I want Chad, this? I can just do this anyway. Look, you it. see in the closet there's some <laughs> fabric hanging. That's a cloak, another cloak. See, I can already do a turkey gobble. Seagull cry. Ah, ah. Owl hoot. Oh, Ooh, Jesus why, why I don't need a staff to do this. Why did you give that to him? <laughs> Man, Dorian would love that one. <laughs> I know, I know. Why would you give him? Why, why give him the cloak too? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want this. I'm the Rat King, not <laughs> the Bird Man. Not anymore. What am I gonna do with the staff of bird calls? Sell it. Sell it. What's the cloak of billowing do? Billows. It billows. <laughs> it's billowing dramatically behind yeah. me. <laughs> billows. Yeah, it's Batman billowing. <laughs> I don't really want that. I have no need for Flash. You can have it, Mr. Glowy Eye Helmet. <laughs> you wanna... I don't know why you do that. <laughs> Wear that cloak. Poof. I, mean, That's I, don't think, I don't have a fancy cloak. Might as well. Right? It'd be fun. Might as well. This is the dust of disappearance. It's, I throw it up and all four of us can be oh, invisible. Cool. I already have... Anybody. Hmm. Save that. Yeah. I already have plans for a cloak. I'll keep the staff of bird calls. I'm gonna walk with a walking stick from here on out, I guess. <laughs> okay. So you guys have pretty much cleared the house. I would think you're gonna exit. Yes. As you get leave. as you get to the front door, you see the pumpkin patch in the distance. And like a magical effect occurs here and this boar turns into a Talos acolyte. And she's probably at least two hundred feet away from you. And you got, but you guys could see her. She sees you. She goes. She runs. <laughs> so she transforms from a boar into a creature. It runs off. Hmm. Why would she do that? Did she just want us to know? Or she's warning somebody. Can I chase her? You can. You don't know your way around these woods like she does. You could probably I get, get a lost. shot off at her? No. no. Too far. Gone. Two hundred feet. Mm. I can shoot six hundred feet. Mm -hmm. No sir. With this advantage, I can. No sir. You weren't prepared when you came out the door. She transformed. She's gone. She had killed her going in. It's just gonna happen. No. All right. Well, we better follow this map. What about these little piggies? Oh, they were just the regular pigs. They would just scatter. They scatter. Why? Grab piggies? one of those pumpkins <laughs> and let's go. I don't know how we're going to tell our centaur friend. Where did he's he waiting outside. You know, okay. He's probably back a meeting point that you guys had. You look up in the sky, and it's getting very, very dark. The rain starts to come down lightly. It starts to pick up. They are summoning Talos. And the sky is darker than you've ever seen it. And the clouds are just billowing. And it's just the winds picking up. And you know something evil comes this way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wilkins is carrying a pumpkin that he's cut the top off of and just eating the pulp out of it. Well, doesn't look good. Out first there. handful he eats gives him um, how many seeds would he have eaten? I don't know. A hand, he's roll a d four. Oh no, roll a d six. Okay. Four. It's eight points healing. Healing. Yes. These pumpkins are really good, by the way, guys. Hmm. How lovely. Rejuvenating. Maybe that's why the Get your own pigs pumpkin. were eating them and whatnot. I said grab a pumpkin and put it on the horse. I guess I'll eat some pumpkin too since <laughs> we're here. Get your own pumpkin. Fine. This one's mine. <laughs> so we're basically probably eat enough pumpkins. How many to... seeds are you gonna eat? There's a there's a whole patch full of pumpkins. I'll eat yeah. it until I feel totally better. Well, how many seeds? Are you just gonna eat just your mouthfuls? Uh, let's see, I don't... IRL, I can eat Eight. hundreds of seeds. Well, there's something about being greedy, buddy. Okay. You are now poisoned. Okay. Well, I need, I need a constitution saving throw, or you will be poisoned. Cool. Anything over six. 
I'm sorry, six was a magic number. Six poison chips? Six, if you ate six seeds, you would be poisoned. Mm. He rolled a four, so he wasn't poisoned. Gotcha. But if you get greedy... I rolled a nine. All right, you're going to be poisoned for 1d4 hours, so it's going to be two hours you're poisoned. Eat some more seeds. Are you allergic to you're pumpkin sick. or something? You're sick. Still eating the pulp. <laughs> you Can you throw them back up? You shouldn't go eating stuff like that. Here, she slaps the pumpkin he's seeds. He's fucking eating handfuls of the fucking shit. Like <laughs> go and he's gorged himself with it upstairs. She <laughs> smacks the pumpkin seeds out of Tordic's hand. Oh, you leave those alone. I will heal you. <laughs> Can you fucking heal poison me as well? Because <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't you wish you could eat pumpkin like me? He rolled a four. <laughs> if you eat more... He ain't I'm, not I'm eating pulp. Upstairs. He ain't eaten the eating pulp. pulp. He eating pumpkins left and right. I'm eating pulp. Nobody said anything about eating the seeds. I ate six seeds. It's mixed in throughout the pulp. Have you ever gotten a pumpkin? It's in there. I'm spitting them out like it's a watermelon. Oh, God. Listen, this DM can't be everywhere and everywhere. I try to be. You guys grabbed the pumpkin and started eating it, so that kicked in that whole storyline. The only reason I ate them was because he said they were healing him. <laughs> yeah, because he rolled a four. That's why I made him roll. You should have known as soon as I said, roll how many, that there was some kind of catch to it. <laughs> yeah, otherwise you're just Welcome to like, D&D. &D. <laughs> All right. Not so my finest Night. You said you said eight. <laughs> I looked at how many healing points I missed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I knew it. I was like, man, somebody's gonna get greedy. It's not really a greedy. It's like sixteen of the fucking things. <laughs> eight is a lot. Eight is enough. Have you seen eight fucking pumpkin seeds? You ever you ever, not, you ever read the story of Hades and Persephone? You ever read the story of Hades and Persephone? She only ate three of those fucking seeds. <laughs> Yeah, let's now we have winter. <laughs> it's on your thing, no? It is on. Well, yes, it is. You're right. I should use my thing. Good call. I'm going to my thing. Here we go. Click the thing. Here we go. Disadvantage on something. On Disadvantage on something else. You yeah, feel kind of poopy. I've had food poisoning, and let me tell you. Disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Great. All right. Mm. At least they did it after the mansion. That is the end of this. Scenario. Yeah, see, there At you least go. we'll get the rest. <laughs> Maybe. Well, if you guys are headed with the weather turning and everything. we got to go now. Is, we can sleep in this house. The Circle of Thunder is 15 miles away. And it's 1d4 hours, so. All right, yeah. I rolled two. <coughs> okay. I rolled a two, so two hours away. 15, you guys should be able to travel that. Let me rest. Wait, are we going to short rest, though? Let me sleep. I mean, he almost your, got killed. Let me sleep on your back, Centaur Man. I'm Carry telling me you there. that they're channeling something right now. Okay. That's why the weather's changing. If Let you guys them channel. want to rest, then I will. I'll come up with what happens. Why that you guys rest? That's fine. Yeah, you guys, we gotta go. You either go. All right, we'll go. I have one HP left. You have one HP left. Pretty much after the seeds, I have. Oh well, yeah, bit she more. can heal you up. I mean, she can do some stuff. She just ain't got nothing to cure poison. That's the problem. Cure me up, baby doll. I mean, I guess I have 22, but still not a lot. I'm at like half. You have 22, you have half, you're okay, Chad? I have 34. Okay. Yeah, the you seeds wanna, is the only thing you want to wait, really. wait till it gets to combat, or you want her to... Do it now. Okay, all right, so she's going to cast Cure Wounds. So it's six, six plus uh, eight side dice. You can kill her, cure poison. I can? Yeah. I don't you gotta can. suck on his dick. No. <laughs> <laughs> Book here says he's gonna die. <laughs> you can do it. You can suck on dick. <laughs> and you should be the poison taster from now on. You're the fucking dwarf who has resistance against poison and advantage on your saving throws. I'm the poison taster, buddy. <laughs> If you experience You're not gonna five take that away points from of me. your healing thing, you can heal someone from being cursed or poisoned. Mm -hmm. Oh. A paladin. Oh, out of my daily pool? Yeah. He does still have healing, doesn't he? Yes, he has his entire healing pool. You wouldn't know it. <laughs> 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 I'll do that. You just need five points of it? Five of it. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I forgot. Look at that. 